Are you curious about the inner workings of the medication Altaplace? Look no further, as we delve into the fascinating world of this thrombolytic drug and its mechanism of action. Altaplace, also known as Tissue Plasminogen Activator TPA, is a powerful pharmaceutical tool utilized in the treatment of conditions such as acute ischemic stroke and pulmonary embolism. By targeting and dissolving blood clots, Altaplace restores blood flow to vital organs, potentially saving lives and preventing long-term disabilities. However, as with any medication, there are potential side effects to be aware of. From hemorrhage risks to allergic reactions, understanding the possible adverse effects of Altaplace is crucial for healthcare professionals and patients alike. Join us as we explore the intricate details of Altaplace's mechanism of action and shed light on the potential side effects associated with this life-saving drug. Mechanism of Action of Altaplace Altaplace acts as a thrombolytic agent, meaning it works to dissolve blood clots that have formed inside blood vessels. The drug specifically targets the fibrin component of blood clots, activating plasminogen to form plasmin. Plasmin then breaks down the fibrin meshwork, effectively dissolving the clot and restoring blood flow. The activation of plasminogen by Altaplace occurs through a process called fibrin-specific fibrinolysis. Altaplace specifically binds to fibrin in the clot, leading to the local activation of plasminogen and subsequent clot dissolution. This targeted action helps minimize the risk of excessive bleeding in unaffected areas. The mechanism of action of Altaplace is time-dependent. The drug is most effective when administered within a narrow time window after the onset of symptoms, typically within 4.5 hours for acute ischemic stroke. Beyond this time frame, the benefits may be outweighed by the potential risks, including hemorrhage. Indications for Altaplace use Altaplace is primarily used for the treatment of acute ischemic stroke, where a blood clot blocks blood flow to the brain. Administering Altaplace in this context can potentially restore blood flow and improve neurological outcomes. It is crucial, however, to follow strict guidelines and protocols for the safe and effective use of Altaplace in acute ischemic stroke. In addition to stroke, Altaplace is also used in the management of pulmonary embolism, a condition where blood clots obstruct the pulmonary arteries. By dissolving the clots, Altaplace can alleviate symptoms and improve pulmonary function. It is important to note that Altaplace should only be used under the supervision of a healthcare professional. The decision to administer Altaplace is based on various factors, including the patient's medical history, the time since symptom onset, and the presence of contraindications. Potential Side Effects of Altaplace While Altaplace can be life-saving, it is not without potential side effects. The most significant concern associated with Altaplace is the risk of hemorrhage or bleeding. This risk is particularly heightened in patients with a history of bleeding disorders, recent surgeries, or active internal bleeding. Intracranial hemorrhage, in which bleeding occurs within the brain, is the most serious and potentially fatal complication. Other potential side effects of Altaplace include allergic reactions, such as hives, difficulty breathing, or swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat. These allergic reactions require immediate medical attention. Less common side effects may include fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, or an increase in blood pressure. These symptoms should be monitored closely, and healthcare professionals should be notified if they persist or worsen. Management and Prevention of Side Effects To minimize the risk of hemorrhage, healthcare professionals must carefully assess each patient's eligibility for Altaplace administration. A thorough evaluation of the patient's medical history, including bleeding risks and recent procedures, is crucial. Patients should also be closely monitored for signs of bleeding during and after Altaplace administration. In cases of allergic reactions, immediate medical intervention is necessary. Healthcare professionals should have appropriate emergency medications and equipment readily available to manage severe allergic responses. Prompt recognition and treatment of allergic reactions can help prevent further complications. The management of Altaplace-related side effects requires a multidisciplinary approach. Healthcare professionals should closely collaborate with other specialists, such as neurologists, cardiologists, and critical care physicians, to ensure optimal patient care and safety. Important precautions and contraindications. While Altaplace can be a life-saving drug, it is not suitable for everyone. Certain precautions and contraindications must be considered before administering Altaplace to a patient. Patients with a history of bleeding disorders, recent surgeries, or active internal bleeding are at higher risk of experiencing hemorrhage as a side effect of Altaplace. These patients may require alternative treatment options or a more cautious approach. Other contraindications for Altaplace include recent major trauma or surgery, 
uncontrolled high blood pressure, and certain medical conditions that increase the risk of bleeding, such as liver disease or uncontrolled diabetes. It is crucial for healthcare professionals to thoroughly assess each patient's eligibility based on these contraindications. Dosage and Administration of Alteplase The dosage and administration of Alteplase depend on the specific indication and patient factors. For acute ischemic stroke, the recommended dose is typically based on the patient's weight, with a maximum dose limit. The drug is administered intravenously over a specific time period, as prescribed by the healthcare provider. In the case of pulmonary embolism, the dosage and administration may vary depending on the severity of the condition and the patient's overall health status. The healthcare provider will determine the appropriate dose and infusion rate for optimal outcomes. It is crucial to strictly follow the prescribed dosage and administration guidelines for Alteplase to ensure its safe and effective use. Any deviations from the recommended protocols should be discussed with the healthcare provider. Monitoring and follow-up after Alteplase administration After the administration of Alteplase, patients require close monitoring for potential complications, particularly hemorrhage. Frequent neurological assessments, including monitoring of vital signs and neurological deficits, are essential to detect any signs of bleeding or worsening symptoms. Regular blood tests may be necessary to monitor the patient's coagulation status and detect any abnormalities. Imaging studies, such as computed tomography, court, scans, may also be performed to evaluate the response to treatment and rule out any adverse events. Patients who receive Alteplase should have scheduled follow-up appointments with their healthcare providers to assess their progress and monitor for any delayed complications. These follow-up visits are crucial for ensuring optimal recovery and managing any ongoing concerns. Frequently asked questions about Alteplase. Can Alteplase be used for the treatment of heart attacks? No, Alteplase is not indicated for the treatment of heart attacks. It is primarily used for acute ischemic stroke and pulmonary embolism. Is Alteplase safe during pregnancy? The use of Alteplase during pregnancy is generally not recommended. The potential risks to the fetus must be carefully weighed against the potential benefits in consultation with a healthcare professional. Can Alteplase be administered by a non-medical professional? No, Alteplase should only be administered by qualified healthcare professionals with the necessary training and expertise due to the potential risks and complexities associated with its use. Alternative Medications for Cancer Treatment Calquins, a calibrutinib. Calquins is another BTK inhibitor similar to Imbruvica and is approved for the treatment of CAE and MCL. Zydelig, Idelalisib. Zydelig is a phosphoinositide 3 kinase, PI3K, inhibitor used in the treatment of CAE and follicular lymphoma. Venclexta, Venetoclax. Venclexta is a B-cell lymphoma 2, BCL2, inhibitor indicated for the treatment of CAE and acute myeloid leukemia, AML. Arzera, Ofatumumab. Arzera is a monoclonal antibody that targets CD20 on B cells and is used in the treatment of CAE. Revlimid, Lenalidomide. Revlimid is an immunomodulatory drug used in the treatment of mantle cell lymphoma and multiple myeloma. Velcade, Bortezomib. Velcade is a proteasome inhibitor used in the treatment of mantle cell lymphoma and multiple myeloma. Conclusion. Alteplase, also known as tissue plasminogen activator, TPA, is a powerful thrombolytic drug utilized in the treatment of acute ischemic stroke and pulmonary embolism. By targeting and dissolving blood clots, Alteplase restores blood flow to vital organs, potentially saving lives and preventing long-term disabilities. However, the use of Alteplase is not without potential side effects, including the risk of hemorrhage and allergic reactions. Healthcare professionals must carefully evaluate each patient's eligibility and closely monitor for potential complications. Understanding the mechanism of action and potential side effects of Alteplase is essential for healthcare professionals and patients alike to ensure safe and effective treatment. Thanks for watching.